I think we're good to go on that note. Waifu, yeah, there's a, we may do we may do a waifu code, sure. Yeah, okay. So uh, yeah, new journey's fine. Just a little bit into a run, but it does not matter. So here's your three waifus. You should get that out of the way right now. Alright, here's three waifus. But uh, oh actually, you know what? Let me let me show you some cards and stuff first, just to let you know this is actually a card game, because I think some people are gonna be uh, skeptical of that. Hold up, where's that at view data? So, um, deck builder. I'm sure you guys have seen and played a lot of deck builders in the past. This is very similar in structure and function to those. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know the physics are fantastic, right? Uh, can we get a waifu tier list? Yeah, we'll do it in a second. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, uh, I was actually really pleasantly surprised, uh, I felt like there was a lot of depth to the uh, card gameplay. I was like, oh man, I feel like I'm making some pretty interesting decisions. And I felt like I had a really, really powerful build at the end, which I don't always feel like sometimes when I play deck builders. I felt like I had really advanced a lot. I think part of that was because of these skills you unlock throughout the course of a run too. Uh, and some of them are nuts, like deal one damage to all enemies whenever an attack card is played or gain one defense when an attack card is played was one I did really, really well last time. Uh, and these can all be upgraded, and then there's a ton of items as well. And cards all have upgraded versions. We can look at with a shift here. So there's just like, you know, four or five different ways to sort of uh, increment your runs and increase the strength of your deck, which was really, really cool. Uh, Kirsten, yeah, we literally just started the sponsored stream, yeah. So I guess, again, we're gonna give away five codes for this throughout the course of the stream, and for some extra skins, which I haven't even seen all the skins. I, they're hard to preview, um, but you know you can kind of imagine some of them based on the previews there. I'm, you know, we're not going to get into it too much. Uh, this is my number one, by the way. Somebody asked me to rank <laughs> to, to not get too into it. Absolutely, my number one. Number three is actually my last, despite I'm sure some of you enjoying this. So uh, there are also three different game modes. We're just going to stick to adventure mode, which is like the base mode uh, for now, just to kind of move through this quicker and show everybody the, the game and I want to get into some gameplay so you guys can see this um, so uh, this is a mission select screen basically where you, you kind of get choices over which fight you want to take and some of them will be like elite battles versus um, boss battles versus normal battles and stuff so um, we have here a mix of defense cards which are blue and attack cards which are red they say straight up what they're doing it's pretty easy in many cases they're Simple, because this is the base deck. There's also this cool little battle tech thing over here that enables a combo. If we play three straight attack cards, we're basically going to double our damage. Hands refill automatically upon card play, and uh, there's a draw pile, a discard pile. A lot of this will be familiar to many of you. 90% uh, of the budget went into physics. <laughs> is it me, or does it seem like it stream drops frames a bit? Uh, it shouldn't be dropping any frames at all. I mean... It's, uh, I'm on, I'm on a two PC setup. I mean, let me know if you continue to see any weird stuff, but anyway, let's, uh, let's go through this. So we have five mana default. Every time we play a card, we get a new one. We just finished our combo, which doubled the attack here. So this is three by base, but now it's six up here. This kind of shows like the real damage. This is like the card text, but the modifiers up here, which I thought was really cool. Cause I feel like I've played games like this before where it wasn't always obvious what sort of, uh, bonuses were being applied and of course you can see what your opponents are going to be doing i don't want to get into too many uh details on the keywords right now with this first run i just kind of want to push through and cover the high levels but the the main mechanic we're utilizing here with this character is uh we have cards that stack up this overheat and some that remove it as well as you can see and when we get to five um essentially it adds a, a dead card into our our deck so you don't want to draw that dead card too often. If you if you overheat too much, basically you're going to kind of ruin the consistency of your deck. Uh, pin warp. I would say that is a 100% perfect explanation. Yes. <laughs> I would say that is exactly right. So here we're going to try to activate our combos and finish on this most powerful card here. Although the opponent is dead already, so <laughs> forget that. All right, so... I think I'm going to take zero mana cards here. This is pretty powerful, though. It's AoE, and there are some nice bonuses to overheating and overloading, I know. 
So actually we may just take this. Although I also like zero mana cards because we can get skills that really kind of benefit that. Marae, yes, yeah. That's exactly right. Uh, yes, Declan, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We switched games as you noticed, but yes. So here we have an elite battle. Uh, and you can see the rewards here for your battles, right? Like if we win this battle, we're gonna get skill points. If we win this battle, we're gonna get uh, to evolve some cards, which is very powerful. I should also showcase this. There's a store you can buy uh, cards and you can buy skill points, which I was finding a ton of success buying skill points because some of these legendary skills are just really insane, I think. Uh, deal one damage to all enemies whenever an attack card is played, for instance, seems nuts. So part of me wants to just go in hard on skills again and try to build kind of a cycle deck that just farms AoE off of these uh, skills. And you can upgrade this so it deals two as well later, which is kind of crazy. So uh, I'm actually just gonna buy skill points. And by the way, this is all like in-game currency. This isn't like a currency you have to pay for like extra money or anything. You're just paying for the game. Uh, and then all of this is just unlocked throughout the game, right? So, um, I think, I, I don't know actually how the skins are monetized. Maybe you pay for those with real money. I'm not actually sure because I haven't looked at the skins yet. If anybody knows, you can tell me, but, um, I should have bought a skill. I think I still can actually. Uh, oh, I don't have enough skills points yet. I want to buy this, uh, this chain here. All right, we're fighting the unknown muscler <laughs> i like how you can do this too and zoom in you know <laughs> i don't want to zoom too much i'll let you guys zoom to your leisure okay zoom at your own leisure here combo active we're gonna deal some damage here Six damage. Uh, we don't really need to defend because he's defending, so I'm not gonna worry about the combo here. I'm just gonna deal a little bit more damage. Okay. Sorry, I turned off the audio by clicking you guys. Chat will complain I'm zooming on the wrong character. Well, you can zoom on this character too. And she's currently on fire. You guys are gonna laugh, but this actually looks a bit like Mrs. Kilvin. <laughs> I, know, I know you don't really believe it. Um, but it really does a little bit. <laughs> it really does. Uh, are we going to have enough, uh, mana to finish our thing here? Uh, yeah, but only if I draw a one mana combo because the combo is gonna oh i didn't see i drew a defend card so that sucks uh this might give me a zero mana shoot but now my combo is gone I think, so yeah either way based on your insta i can totally see it yeah <laughs> yeah i mean clearly a more you know dramatic appear and appearing version but nonetheless um i think i think similar enough as funny as that seems these are really long uh Battle tech combo setups, I feel like. I feel like I had shorter ones more often than this. I think we've had a bad stretch, maybe. I did feel like as I got into my run and I kind of refined my build, I wasn't trying to do this as much just because I had so many awesome things I was doing anyway. And, and you know, in some instances, I'm going to defend here because I don't want to take unneeded damage. If you, I, I clicked off there. The UI goes away when I'm looking at you guys. Can we zoom in in this game? Oh yeah. Uh, Heretic, more or less, yeah, with its own its own mechanics, of course. But yeah, you'll find a lot of similarities for sure. Which I think is a great thing, by the way. It's just aesthetically uh, unique, right? Uh, actually, let's go here, and then we can combo off on this. And that's gonna do a million damage, even though I think they were dead anyway. Okay, that was an elite fight, but still not too challenging. That said, there is um, a challenge mode that I haven't gotten into yet, but I wanted to do it today with you guys. And again, we're gonna give away codes here in a minute. Um, I wanted to get through about 10 or 12 minutes before we give away our first code pair. So, <laughs> Coconut, that's a great name, dude. That's a great name. Um, 
And by the way, guys, again, feel free to hit uh, here. I'll just do it for you so you can see it for links in chat. Uh, exclamation mark Neoverse for details on this. You can join the Discord, see what people are saying and doing. Okay, I had a ton of luck with Pandora's box before. This seemed awesome. Um, I think I did have an upgraded version one though, so I don't know if it's gonna be as good without upgrade. But anyway, force, as it says, basically increases all of your damage by that amount. So we get one force, every attack's gonna be plus one damage, which clearly stacks up a lot over time. Receive one of two legendary cards. That sounds cool, but let's um, let's purchase some stuff here first. We need two skill points for this. So I can actually buy some skill points and we can even refresh the store as well to get more skill points. I don't have gold yet, but we'll get there. Uh, also, I can remove a card from my deck. In this case, let's remove a, a base defense card. Uh, I want to be more attack based. That's cool. And now we can buy this as well. Recover one HP when we defeat an enemy. That sounds perfect. How much does it cost to evolve it? Oh, two, two. And that's recovering two HP. That's cool. All right. Legendary card it is. Okay. Let's kill the small guy first. This is going to be really nice. Okay. Not doing our battle tech there, right? Uh, four and four. Might as well finish here then. Just damage more clean. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what precision triggered means. I need to learn that. It happened a few, well, a lot actually. I don't know what precision triggered means. Means. Okay. a lot more damage than uh, I felt like I did previously, but we'll be fine. Alright, combo on this bad boy for 18 damage. Lethal, let's... Not lethal, there was armor. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, shoot, I'm gonna take 12. I thought I had lethal. Uh-oh. Oh, only 4 here. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no! The odds of me getting a zero. A zero mana attack off these. This deals damage anyway, so. Shoot, I'm taking a lot of unneeded damage here. This kind of sucks. Oh, you get 50 gold for precision kills. Oh, it's an exact lethal. That's what it is. Okay, that's good to know. That's super duper helpful, dude. Thank you. Yeah, that means this would be a precision kill and I get 50 gold. Oh, sick. That makes my life way better, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, plus one HP whenever you play a constant card. Hmm. So constant cards are cards that basically take effect throughout the whole course of a fight. Like you play it and that effect persists, like an aura of sorts. I don't know how many constant cards I'd have though, so this doesn't seem that good. Um, hasty judgment. Yeah, sure. That seems good to find stuff to do. More skill points. Ooh, this is really nice. High elite battle. Um, if we so the challenge is keep our starting HP and win the battle, but that's over the course of the whole run twice, and we get ten max HP. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm super strong right now. And I don't have a ton of health. I'm actually just gonna take the elite battle. I can definitely get a combo once, and this is a pretty powerful effect, getting one shield. Shield increases the amount of armor you gain off of defense cards. Speaking of which, I need to buy skill point and tear up here. So now we gain an extra armor whenever a defend card is played. So this Make helps me a little bit more. Hey, Maxaroth, thanks for the prime sub. Does this game have a story? Not really. There's a very loosely uh, kind of overarching, like very simple lore, but not really. It's more about like gameplay and, and collecting all the different things and unlocking all the different stuff. I think that's 100% the priority here. Yeah. 
taking only three damage here, so I don't need much here. Effects, plus two force to all enemies. What does it say? Whenever this card goes into the used card pile. Oh, that means I should really try to play those, but oh boy. I don't really want to though. It's gonna take an extra crap ton of damage if I don't though. Oh yeah, I gain HP when I play those too, though. That's awesome, actually. That's really cool. I forgot about that. Since we're using Hydrant's cards, we got that skill that gives us HP anytime I play one of those bad gray cards. <laughs> Kirsten, yeah, it's, it's a good description. I think it's I think it's very fitting. Uh, guys, oh, after this fight, by the way, I'll give away our first code, so stay tuned. Um, explosive shot. That's a familiar name, isn't it? Yeah, we actually can get off a uh, combo here, too, for sure. Let's isolate this. Well, I say for sure, but actually I need to draw one. Why am I not drawing cards? Oh, my draw pile's empty. That's why. Oh, man. I'm having more trouble this run. I, I'm getting kind of stomped on a few times here. I feel like my hand is just really expensive Welcome. often. Boys, make some room by the heart, uh. Okay, I need cheap attacks to get the combo off, but I'm just taking a ton of damage. Gotta be really careful here. This is dealing six, so that's good. Six damage, I can gain three armor here. Or four here. It's fine. These guys are kind of hard. Uh, Supreme Andy with the prime. Oh my god, I got knocked down. Don't do that. Supreme Andy with the prime sub, dude. Thank you, Supreme Andy. That's really nice, man. Uh, this gains me HP, right? So that's good. As does this. Which I need because I'm taking a ton of damage. I'm taking way more damage this fight than I'm used to. It's like my hands are awkward. I'm not really dealing a lot of damage. I need just more efficient cycling. Okay, this is going to end it here. Finally. Cool. She said, no, no, no. I don't know what that was for. <laughs> I did something she didn't like. Uh, oh, roll change. Okay, I've had success with that too. It basically accelerates the amount of force you gain. And again, force increases your damage output. So if you get overheated, or you get a lot of overheat, this can just blow up your damage, which is really, really nice. But I'm, I'm kind of worried about health right now, weirdly enough. Um, Uh, no, we'll, we'll gain enough health later. I trust us. Oh, giveaway time. Yeah, let's do, let's do a, uh, our first code giveaway here for Neoverse. Uh, let me get Moobot loaded up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Good old Moobot. And we'll do, um, we'll do the code, uh, waifu. Sure. So I'm gonna create a giveaway, exclamation mark waifu. If you wanna enter to win, type exclamation mark waifu. And uh, <laughs> I will uh, draw a winner here shortly, send you a code, and I'm gonna send you a bonus code too. The, um, well, let's just kick it off already. The, <laughs> can't believe I'm saying this. The schoolgirl pack. DLC. So somebody out there is going to be really excited if they win. 
Somebody out there is going to be really, really sad if they don't win. But of course, you can get this game on Steam too. If you if you don't win the waifu pack, <laughs> old school gamer says I must win. Uh, um, <laughs> Kirsten, yeah, bad timing for you. Huh? Uh, what if you don't want the extra code? If you don't want the if you don't want the schoolgirl pack, um, you can you can give it to a friend. You can give it to a friend. So again, this is a giveaway for Neo versus the game we're playing right now. Strategic rogue light deck builder. Excuse me, I'm gonna give you a code to, to get the game and a code for the DLC. And of course, if you just wanna check the game out on Steam, uh, you can do so using the link I just popped into chat. Also, you can join the Discord for the game. The Steam reviews on this game are fantastic. And I was feeling the same way. It has very positive uh, Steam reviews, both recently and uh, total. People really enjoy their waifu deck builder, so. Does it work for mobile? Uh, I believe this is a uh, just console and PC game, but it is on Xbox now. It launched on Xbox about a few weeks ago. Uh, so you can get it on Xbox, Xbox Games Pass, and PC. Um, so, no mobile. So let's do the winner. Let's do the winner. The winner is Silgato 106. Silgato. Congratulations, Silgato. If you only want the pack code, if that's true, I don't know if you're being legitimate or not. If so, let me know. And I will uh well you can do what you want with the with the Steam code. You can give it to a friend or uh I can I can redo it if you want. So that first code is for the game, Silgato. And this code is for the um the schoolgirl pack <laughs> DLC. All right. Um, so if you really don't want the game code, oh, you do have the game. Oh my God. Okay. So I'll draw another entry then. I'll, you got the code. And uh, I'll draw another entry for the, for the game. This time it's Taoisman. Taoisman. Let me send you a code, Taoisman. He says Pog. That's right. I, I'm sure you'll have fun. So here is the code for the game. Assuming Silgato didn't uh, steal it from us. Oh, God. I hope that's the right. Oh, no. I don't know which one's which. Hold up. Uh, I can double check. Okay, yeah. That's the game code right there. Tatwas Man. And I'm not going to explain how to do uh, how to do codes on, on Steam, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Um, Okay, I'm going to do boss battle, of course, because we have to, and I'm going to do recover HP, because we're actually... Oh, actually, I think you recover HP anytime, but this is a thing I can redeem anytime I want for later, so we can save that and store it up. In fact, actually, do I have any mission redemptions that we've already finished? Um, yeah, we do. Oh my god, I need these. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I forgot to do these. Uh, oh no, is it... It won't let me... Welcome, boys! Make some room by the heart, mocha! Mm. Did I need to do these earlier? Not in the middle of a fight? Uh-oh. I don't know if I'm allowed to do these in a fight. You click these to redeem them. And I forgot because I'm streaming. But uh, I don't know if you can do it in the middle of a fight or not. Can I buy any skills to help here too? Yes. Do I have enough gold? Oh, no. I need... I need a little bit more gold. Oh man, I'm like so close to everything, but not actually there. Okay, um, we need to move here. We're, oh my god. Okay. Now that reminds me of Miss Kilbin, actually. <laughs> Rabies gain four force. Oh yikes, they're gonna be strong. Okay, that's actually really really scary. Um. We're only taking three damage here this turn, technically. Which is kind of cool. Here's an overheat. So this can give me bonus force. Uh, do I have any other overheats? No. It's 
not gonna give me much bonus force though. Ooh, this is nice. 15 damage out of nowhere, baby. Let's go. Um, am I actually? Yeah, I'm gonna be able to kill that dog. Sick. Really nice. Oh, does that mean I can um buy my? <gasps> it does. Which means I can buy this. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's so sick. So now I deal one damage to all enemies whenever an attack card is played. That was really, really cool. I own this game. It's a fun one. Glad to see you've been enjoying it. Yeah, I was really surprised how much I've been enjoying it. I felt like I wanted to keep playing it. Maybe that says something about me. I, <laughs> I need to explore in more detail. So let's see. Uh, looks like 10 damage incoming. So a little bit of armor here certainly wouldn't hurt. Uh, we could also just go full-on forward-facing given the combos, but I'm not really going to be able to kill anything super meaningful. Um, yikes. A lot of damage output. I don't think I can pass that up. It's a boss fight, so I don't really necessarily need to win so much. As I just need to stabilize a little. Well, I don't need to stay alive so much as I need to just win. Excuse me, I said that backwards. These aren't as bad as me for norm as normal because of um, our skill that heals us more. Feeling I'm going to have trouble here. Uh, Curse of the V. Inflict the damage dealing debuff to the player that deals one damage every turn. Okay. So surely we'll be able to kill this guy this turn. Oh, yeah. Decay. Oh, yikes. I am dealing, like, no damage right now. Oh, and this is hurting me. Oh, my God. Oh, yikes going badly. I feel like I'm gonna die. These just feel so bad because they're not dealing any damage. But I shouldn't have even armored. I'm not taking any hits, so. And I don't get to stack defense over time, so it's not like playing it. Normally you get to stack defense, but she has defense off, so I'm not able to keep any defense rolling. Um, okay, so this is gonna end up uh, killing that dude, damaging her a little more. Pretty good DPS output, actually. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, it didn't actually heal me at all. It doesn't, because I got a wound in here. These wounds, man. Oh, I don't know if I can deal 58 before I die. Oh, I'm gonna die. What are these two? I gotta, I gotta use these. I keep forgetting to use these. Um, should have used that 10 minutes ago, but I'm desperate now, and I know I have to make good decisions, so... We just kind of have to go. Stuck. Uh, okay, so I need to heal at least nine here. Well, not at least nine, but I need to heal as much as I can here. Oh, that's 15 damage. That's sick. Wow, this is the closest fight I've actually had yet. Um, just adding so many of these garbage cards to my draw pile for very minor heals. Can I? Will it let me redeem these again? <gasps> I can do it right now, I bet. No, it won't let me. Oh, man. Oh, my, oh my god, I literally don't have any cards to play. Oh my god. Oh boy, this is going crazy. I'm kind of doing it to myself, right? Like I understand we're in a loop here that's, uh, we got a negative feedback loop for sure, but. Um... Okay, I 
with 11 health. All right. 10 health. Oh God. Eight damage. Okay, that's actually fine, believe it or not. Um, infinite growth. One infinite growth will be added to your draw pile when this card goes into the used card pile. Oh my God, it's just getting worse and worse every time. So, 30 damage to deal. I'm not gonna deal 30 damage this time. There's no way. Oh my god, that's three damage off lethal, but I'm alive, so should probably just do this to push, right? Two damage off lethal, I counted wrong. Okay. I think you fully heal after boss fight. I have three health. Oh my god. <laughs> it's all we need though, baby. Uh, am I taking any return damage or anything? Oh my god. Woo! The code game with 100 trophies as well. Oh, nice, dude. That's cool. I didn't know that. That's a bonus. Trophies are awesome. Russian roulette. I haven't seen this before. Every shooting card used during this turn reduces the mana cost of this card by one. Deal two damage to all enemies three times. Okay, so six AoE. Scales pretty nicely with force. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Deal piercing damage instantly equal to two times your overheat to all enemies. That sounds great, because I could easily have four overheat and then deal eight to enemies for one mana. That seems really good. Okay. Oh my god, that was close, guys. My favorite view of the game. Um, yeah, we have five mana a turn. You can play infinite cards, it's just limited by mana. So did we heal up? Oh, we did. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I gotta, I gotta redeem these. We, we weren't redeeming our stuff. That we were weaker than we were supposed to be because I didn't redeem half of this stuff. Slayer's Chainsaw. You'll find it if you play two high cost cards. Nah. Here, the reality safety card at the beginning of every turn. Sure, a cost it for one mana seems actually really good. Um. Okay, and it's got adaptation, which is nice. All right, that's really powerful, and we don't need that right now, so let's wait on that redemption, and let's go in here and buy some more skill points. And I need to figure out what my next skill line's gonna be, or do I just wanna upgrade this? I just wanna upgrade this, don't I? Yeah. Now we're dealing two damage to all enemies when, when any attack card is played. We're just gonna be flying through attacks right now, burning people like crazy. Oh my God, it's already? 2.30. I was going to do a code giveaway every 15 minutes. Did I do that last one late? It feels like it just happened. Oh, it's been 14 minutes ago. We'll do it. We'll do it after the next fight. We'll do one more fight. High elite battle. You guys think I can do it? We just got a lot stronger, I feel like. Uh... I bet we can do it. I think I can. I think I can do it. We just got a lot stronger. I... Okay, why am I in the game? That's old Regis right there. That's old Regis. Why am I in the game right now? Okay. Um. Yeah. This is nice. triggered baby eight damage on this already that's cool uh what's my overheat at it's only at one it's not very good uh we're taking no damage so i don't really have let's see if i get a zero mana shoot maybe right. oh it is always zero mana i think yeah okay. that extra damage 
Like, I dealt so much extra damage to these guys basically for free. That's such an insane skill. It's really crazy. Why can't I use this? Why can't I use this? What do I have? Oh, I cannot use attack type cards because of fear. Oh, that sucks. I didn't know that. That's no fun. Oh my god, I'm taking a ton of damage. Why is my draw pile empty? Well, that turn was really, really, really miserable. Oh my god. That was the worst. <laughs> that turn was just completely useless. Um, overheats at two. So this will kill that guy, which is fine. Get 12. Guys, we're going to do the code giveaway after this game, by the way. Don't forget, after this fight. Don't forget. Oh, there it is, baby. That's what we needed. Oh, I love it. Give me that damage. Oh, I didn't heal any this time. Uh-oh. I didn't heal any. I needed to kill this guy. I'm taking big damage here. Uh-oh. These elite guys are no joke, dude. Oh, God. I got hit hard. Oh, and my hand is just complete and utter garbage. Uh... Oh. oh my god, this fight's harder than I thought. Oh, I have no cards. I'm useless. Okay, that's... Oh, I've got stupid fear again. Oh my god. Okay. Um, two times my overheat. Can I overheat more? No. Just need to kill this guy. I just can't play attack cards, though. It's the worst. It's the worst. It's the absolute worst. Let me play attack cards, please. We're going to kill this guy just with this radioactivity debuff only. It's all I'm hitting him. Okay, this guy's dead finally. That's nice. That limits a lot of the damage we might take, right? This guy's almost dead too, so we should be fine from here. We're not taking any damage this turn, so. All right, that was tough though. I don't think I'm playing. I don't think I'm playing perfectly by any means, but still tough. Cool. Oh, look at that gold! Holy crap! Psychopath deal three damage and inflict three radioactivity to all enemies. Huh. That actually sounds pretty good. Continuous attack, deal three damage to all enemies for every spent mana. Whoa. So I can deal 15 to everybody, but that scales with force. That sounds crazy. I'm gonna take that. All right, we're gonna do a giveaway, guys. Um, oh my God, another elite battle. I don't know if I can again. 
All right, time for giveaway number two for a Neoverse code. And this time around, we're going to do a Cyberpunk costume uh, DLC to go with it. So uh, what do we want to make the... Uh, what's this called? Nanoblade. We're going to do exclamation mark Nanoblade this time. Because that ability has been carrying me. So type exclamation mark nanoblade in chat for a chance to win a um, copy of the game, Neoverse, strategic roguelite deck builder available on PC, Xbox One, Xbox Game Pass. And also a bonus DLC pack as well to go with your code, which is the cyberpunk costume. I'm going to do this one a little quicker so we make sure we have time to finish this run. Otherwise, I'm worried about well, no, we'll always finish this round, I think. But I want to get I want to get a challenge mode started too. All right, so we'll draw in five, four, three, two, one. And the winner is Calderdag. Calderdag, congratulations. Let me send you a whisper real quick, Calderdag. Uh Calderdag. Here is wait, where's Calderdag? Calder Dag. Congrats, Calder Dag. Find your code. Here's your code, Calder Dag. You can enter that on Steam. Again, I don't know how to tell you to do that right now, but basically there's like an activate a product on Steam link somewhere on Steam. You can always Google that. But that first code's for the game on Steam, and the second code is for the cyberpunk dlc on steam so be sure to check those out uh do we want a crazy wow that actually sounds sort of nuts plus one we're gonna take you to all enemies whenever you play an attack card I, I have a lot of attack cards let's see what our skill tree's got next though what do we want to do next um Attack cards deal one additional damage if you have overheat. We like almost always have overheat. I think we gotta get to this one again too. Uh, recover 30% of your max HP when you enter a boss stage. Sure. That actually sounds pretty cool. And then gold bar, receive 400 gold. Heck yeah. I'm just chaining skill points all day, dude. Backpack, add an item slot, sure. Sometimes it's, I notice I got full on items pretty regularly. All right, man. Plus one force number three attack cards are played. Oh my God, that sounds great too. There are so many fantastic skills. I don't know if going this hard into skills is strategically right, but it sure feels right. Feels awesome. Matland, thank you, by the way. That's super duper helpful. So guys, we still got three more codes to give away and we got, an, uh, I don't know, we're gonna do about every 20 minutes or so. So, you know, stick around. Um, and again, you can check this game out on Steam. You can use this link right here in chat. You'll you'll be um, happy to know it has very positive reviews on stream, on Steam. Quite a few downloads too and reviews, I was surprised. Seems like it's pretty popular. This one, it had slipped under my radar, so. I'm glad to uh, catch it finally. So there's the links in chat. Uh, all right, so one of three Evolve Defend cards. Evolve all current Defend type cards. That sounds really insane. The question is, can I win this if I only have 27 health? Maybe I should use my uh, max HP recover here and then do the elite battle, huh? Because that sounds just really crazy. Oh, this doesn't seem like that hard of an elite battle, to be honest. Uh, I feel like I'm just about to murder one of these guys. It's 20 damage already. Okay. This guy's just gonna die next turn for sure. Oh, he healed more than I thought. I thought it was only gonna be 10. That was a lot more than I expected. I don't know why. 
What just happened? Okay, so they're dealing 23 damage. Alright. Never mind. I'm scared. I take it back. I'm scared again. I just lost all my overheat. Dang it. I could have maybe tried to kill this guy instead of armor through it, but I didn't think I was going to get enough damage out to do that. This again deals 15. That leaves me taking 12 though. If I heal here, I can only take I can take down to six. Um Kill off the other dude. Take 12. That's fine. I can take 12. Six is fine. I can take six. Uh will this still kill that guy if I only deal four though? Three times four is twelve. Yeah, that's fine. He still does. Okay, sweet. Six is no biggie. We can live with six. I need to generate some overheat, man. Oh, I have no overheat. Shackles on attack, but that's okay. We can just defend a lot this turn. Oh man, this is almost lethal though. Jeez. You have to kill them both in one hit to get the full thing. No, this is, um, this is any time. You don't have to do it this fight. At least I don't think so. It, this is throughout the whole course of the run, right? I don't want to stress on that on an elite fight. We can just do it um, on an easy fight later. 19 armor. Man. Piercing damage, but still not enough. I honestly did not know that was going to be a combo. I'll be honest, that was a straight up accident. <laughs> straight up accident. Yeah, no worries, Funky Monkey. I'm glad we got to explain it, dude. Good to, good to explain for sure. Should still be lethal, right? Sweet baby, let's go. Nice. That's I understand why that was confusing, Funky Monkey, by the way. I should have explained that better. Deal one damage to all enemies whenever you play a defend card for constant. Uh, deal two piercing damage to all enemies if you have overheat at the beginning of the turn. Inflict three radioactivity and one amplify and decay. To all enemies. That seems really strong, right? Yeah, that seems great. Okay. Uh, yeah, Howsome. No, I know. I just, I didn't notice. I, I wasn't paying too much attention to combos that fight because it's clear our hand was just full of garbage. So, all right, let's see. Um, Evolve a card actually sounds probably better than getting a random Devolve card. So let's just take the normal battle here. We can also try to finish uh, both of these maybe. Because maximum mana plus one sounds really strong. So I need 
to kill both of these with one AoE. That should really be fine, and I need... I don't know if I'll be able to do the four mana this time or not. That might be a little hard to add into the mix. Because this is already 12 to each. That's probably pretty pretty good. Pretty worth it right now. Um, wait, is it actually 24 to each? No, 50% more damage, so not 24 to each. But, oh my god. I just finished the deal 25 right there all at once, guys. <laughs> okay. Actually, I should use that. I should have used that earlier, honestly. I could have dealt these an additional four each, actually. So... I gotta be careful about this. I don't wanna... I basically need an AoE... Um, so let's think about this. If I hit six, that's gonna die. I can't actually attack right now. Right? Because they're both gonna... Because every time I deal an attack card, they... Oh, actually, wait. What if I hit this one? I actually don't know if this counts. Does, it probably doesn't count as an attack if my skill kills them, right? I don't think it will. I don't think it'll count as an attack if my kill skills. If my uh, thing thing yeah. So I can't use instance and I can't attack because we're gonna accidentally kill the guys if we do. I just need one of my AoEs here and we should be totally fine. Uh. Oh my god, where are the AoEs at, dude? Oh, why didn't I look here? I should have looked here. I don't think I have any one mana AoE cards, do I? No. Are these gonna die to the stupid radioactivity if I'm not careful? Oh my gosh, please. Oh, here it is. Okay, this is it. Nice. Sweet. That's such a big upgrade. Oh my god. Create constant, two random constant cards. No. Insanity, inflict one amplify. No. If you have rate activity and lose HP from an enemy attack, inflict one. Oh, I don't want any of these. Can I actually just not take that? Yeah. Sweet, Unreal, dude. That's awesome. Matt Land, in my experience, Funky Monkey is one of the most common names. I don't know why it's so common, but it seems like there's a lot of variations of it, too. So, what do I want to do here? Deal four damage only every mana spent? That seems pretty good. Recycle that seems pretty good. What does this do? Negative two over heat. Hasty judgment. I do feel like I've needed more shuffle cards. Pandora's box, plus two fours sounds really nice. That's so much extra damage output. Yeah, this has what gotta is be it, right? Here? Is it a single player game? I am getting close to Yes, Tremedius, yeah. Speaking of which, I should probably left. turn off alerts. I didn't think about it. Uh, I'm gonna turn off alerts. So we don't get too distracted by alerts. Uh, not not your fault, Tremedius. I just didn't think about it before. Uh, yeah, this game's called Neoverse. It's a uh, strategic roguelite deck builder. You've, you've probably played similar ones. It's got a, uh, a surprising amount of depth. I've been really, really pleasantly surprised uh, the whole time. It's been really enjoyable. There's all kinds of additional layers of um, deck manipulation and upgrades and skills. and You can take your build in like a million different ways. It's God, speaking of which, this run has taken a long, a lot longer than I expected. And we're doing giveaways for media, so... Uh, stick around. You might win a code. We're gonna do one in about ten minutes. Probably after the next fight, we'll give it, do another giveaway code for Neoverse. Uh, yes, Remedius. It's very similar. Yeah, very similar. If you like that, I think you'll like this. 
Is this game only for PC? No, it is also um, on Xbox One and Xbox Game Pass. And I'll be honest, I don't know what Xbox Game Pass is. So I just, that's on my little sheet that I have. <laughs> but I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I don't ever do Xbox stuff. Is that the thing I have on PC where I get games? I don't know what it is. Uh, Willow Tree, very similarly. I, I think aesthetically, some people will like it less. Some people will like it more because it's got sort of an anime like waifu aesthetic, but um, Okay, what did I just wait? What did I just redeem? All did I really only have two defense type cards? I thought I had I don't know I don't know. Okay, Shrews, that's what I thought it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have I, I have Xbox Games Pass. I just didn't know what it was called. Um. I don't I don't know what it's called. Oh, I hate every time I tab off the music stops. It's not the game's fault. It's my fault. But I'm trying to look at you guys and read your messages. Uh. All right. Let's see. Um. I don't really want any common instant cards. I want to try to finish this to get more mana, so I think we're going to do this and try to win a fight with four mana remaining. I don't think it'll be too hard, honestly. By the way, I haven't been spinning the camera, guys, but you can spin the camera if you didn't know. Huh. Huh. <laughs> well, then. What do you know? Taking three, so one of these is fine. Then we can go boom, boom, yeah. Wow, they are almost dead. <laughs> I just came back to that close. <laughs> good, good, good. Just as I, just as I expected. Um, okay, we want to, like I said, we want to win this with four mana remaining. So I'm gonna play this a little bit slower than I would normally. Uh, what are we at? Nine armor. Okay. I am really glowy, by the way. I haven't, I have shield, which is giving me that shield. I think force is like that blue glow, maybe. The overheat's like the fire glow. I, I, this is the glowiest we've been, guys. Four force is really good. So they are dead. So now I need to win this fight with four mana remaining. So it might take me a couple turns to kill him. I can't one-shot him, basically, right? Uh, is this going to enable a one-shot? It's going to go to eight attack. No. Ugh. It's really close, though. The radioactivity is going to deal one damage, too, so it's like, ugh. Any zero attack cards here that do a thing? We're gonna have to wait a turn again. I'll just defend up. For those who don't know, I'm trying to win the fight with four or more mana remaining to gain the maximum mana boost later, which is really cool. So, seven damage. Again, not perfect. Should have tried to hit him once, maybe last turn. Uh, Radioactivity is gonna deal one. This deals nine. I, that's too much. I gotta wait. I gotta wait again. And heal up in the meantime. Okay. Decay actually lowered the damage on this, which makes it. Uh, perfect to use now to soften him up so that I can kill him next turn, right? That's kind of perfect. So now I just need any one mana attack card and I'm good. Perfect. Okay. Sick. All right. Nice. Maximum mana plus one. That's so bonkers good. 
Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, plus two force when you use an item. Oh, weird. That'd be good for a boss fight, but not something I probably want to do regularly. Accelerated defense gain eight armor. Uh, I don't really want any of these. I wanted more offensive stuff. Um, whatever. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have taken any, actually. Yeah, max mana just seems so completely insanely powerful. All right, we're on a boss. Skill points times three. What did I want to buy? I forgot. I wanted something, right? Oh, yeah. This. Yeah, I wanted this. We need to buy this, and then we need to have three more skill points, which I'm sure we'll have enough gold to buy now, yeah? So there's three more skill points, so we buy this. Now our attack cards deal another damage if we have overheat. So attack cards are all dealing three damage most of the time, basically. And I can even upgrade this too to make it two. So we could have like four extra damage per attack card right now. That's really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, I'm gonna take the skill points. I still want more skill points. This is sweet. Oh, I was gonna do a giveaway. Let's do it. Let's do it actually during this fight. Uh, there's no timer or anything, so we can do it right now. All right, time for code giveaway number three. And uh, what did I just buy about overcharge? So let's do exclamation mark overcharge as our code giveaway this time. This is for a Neoverse code on Steam. So exclamation mark overcharge if you want to win a code for Steam. And by the way, uh, Sydney and Perscript, thanks for the two months, guys. That's really nice. Overcharge. For a code on Steam. Oh, I'm also going to give you a uh, Hot Break DLC code. I don't know what that means, but I'll let your imagination run wild. A Hot Break DLC code to go with your game code. So let's go ahead and uh, draw the winner here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we got... <laughs> How fitting. Um... Crotch Peeker. Crotch Peeker, you are the winner. <laughs> just, just perfect. He says, Pog. Let me send you a whisper with your code. So this is uh, code number three of five. You can enter this on Steam right there to activate the game. Get yourself some Neoverse. And here's your... Hot break uh, DLC code. Which one did I just give you? Actually, I gave you the wrong one, but that's fine. Still works. Okay. Grats, crotch beaker. Now let's win this boss fight. We're fighting a uh, Cthulhu. Okay, sure. Uh, what's happening here? Sacrifice force, give two force to all your companions. Okay. Does he have some now already? Kill companions, they're 10% upon dying, so killing him first before we damage that sounds great. This unit will die after five turns at the end of its turn. Oh, will we kill it faster than five turns? Pretty much always, right? Yeah. Um, so putting radioactivity on this may not matter since we're gonna, but it's free, whatever. So we're taking eight. We don't want to overblow our armor too much because there's just no point. Okay. So much damage output already. We're definitely gonna kill this guy before five turns. <laughs> oh, I like the tentacle fight animation there. That was good. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, this just murders everybody, really. I love that it counts as precision. Uh, precision, that's cool. So this should go, I would hope, pretty easily at this stage, right? Like, overheat, oh yeah, gave me that overheat, baby. I don't know if force, does force affect, uh... No, it probably doesn't affect this, right? I don't think so. I wouldn't expect it to. Oh, summons. Oh, he gets more zealots. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I didn't know that. That makes a lot of sense. That's why the zealots just kind of chill in there. Am I crazy? Does that one look different? Okay, it's not a straight appeal this time at least. This is 48 damage. Let's do it. Just murdered that guy. I am taking 16, but as soon as we beat the boss, we heal, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not worried about that. 18 damage attack. Look at that, baby. We're flying, dude. Max man increase seems so OP. Yeah, it really does. Hey, nice. We got a trophy. Cool. Um. Hmm. Was this adding multiple react radioactivities in my hand? I think it was, right? In that case, should be fine. Spy Cthulhu. <laughs> all right. Uh, evolve all current instant type cards. How many of those do I have? Purple cards. Let's see. Okay. So that's actually not bad. Receive one of three evolved constant cards or remove a card. I mean, I think this is the obvious choice, the elite battle. Uh, what did I get there? Did I get... Skill points? No. What do I have to do? Five cards that require two more mana. I really didn't do that? Okay. Yes, I believe that, but... Alright, let's evolve this one. We just pump out so much insane damage now. We are murdering people. Uh... Oh, I didn't know this. That's cool. You get like points and there's rankings and leaderboards and stuff. I hadn't really, you know, experienced that too much, but it's cool. Oh, what did I have to do? I didn't even look. Clear battle without using defend cards. You know what? That might actually be uh, feasible for us. But I don't know. It's not this fight, I don't think, right? I think this fight we got to defend a little. There it is, okay. That's nice. Uh. All right, shame we couldn't kill that guy, but all good. Man, extra mana is so busted. When your hand refills automatically, right, it's just, <laughs> It's just so good. Oh, Shackle's attack is the worst, dude. Get out of here. Seven times five on this. Woo! Let's go. Uh, my overheat at two. Not lethal or anything, so let's just decay him out. Okay. Uh, 
we are just pumping out ridiculous DPS right now. It's really crazy. Ready, set, go, create a random uh, instant card. It will cost zero for one use. Radioactive zone, inflict one random to all enemies of unit every turn. Yeah, two mana seems a little pricey for that, really. I mean, we do have quite a bit of radioactive synergies now. Um... Four to all when a target with radioactivity is defeated. I mean, four just doesn't scale that well on that. I think I'm gonna take this. So I like the overheat boost boost because we have a lot of things that synergize off of overheat. So, uh, is that real, Crotch Speaker? That can't. Is that really what it is? That's amazing. If so, uh, evolve all current attack type cards. <laughs> Well, that just seems amazing. What do I have to do for that? And that's a trigger, a parry. I actually don't know what a parry is. What's a parry? I don't know what that is. Hmm. Anybody with experience in this game know what a parry is? I don't know yet. I'm not sure if I know what a parry is. Anyway. Five damage when the enemy is defeated. That doesn't sound so bad. Let's see. Supply magazines receive an evolved shoot card. Sure, yeah. Sounds great. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what we need. There it is. And we almost killed these guys in one shot. Okay. Parry is blocking with an exact amount of shield. Oh, okay. Good to know. So you're saying he's dealing eight. If I deal, if I take eight here, oh, I take 10. Why do I have 10? What did I have? I have a bonus. Why am I gaining gain armor when a defend card is played? Aw, uh, well, not this fight then. That's fine. Oh, item slots are full, eh? Yeah. Whoa, that's an insane item, by the way. We'll use that on the final boss for sure. Um, Deal three damage, select a card from your hand and consume it from this battle. Oh, okay, that sounds actually pretty cool. I like that. Attack cards are cool too. So, do I want to trade out this item? No, we already got one of those anyway, so it's fine. Okay. Duplicate a card. Yeah, I want to try to finish these, though, before I... I need to... Wait, I thought the reward for this was something different. Why am I crazy? I thought we picked a fight with rewards that were... Evolve all attack-type cards. Did I not take that fight? This is for skill points. This is for instant types. But this is just an evolve. Hmm, for some reason I thought we had something different there. I don't know why I thought that. Either way, I think we're good. Uh, we have four skill points. What do I want to buy here? Gambling? Oh my god, gambling sounds fun. If you have armor remaining in any turn, decrease overheat by one. I don't even necessarily always want that. Price of goods reduced by 10, plus one force whenever four defend cards are played. If an enemy survives an attack with three or less than three. I kind of just want to grab one of these, right? Plus one force when three attack cards are played sounds really cool. So I need seven, so I can definitely get to seven. Oh, why is this locked actually? Oh, I gotta buy all along the vertical too. Oh, I didn't know that. Shoot. Oh, okay. 
I need one more now, and I can't afford it now, because this is up to 300, but we'll get one for the next fight, so that should be fine. So you're a stage of the hindrance card in hand. That happens pretty much anyway, so. Whoa, what is this thing? What is this model? Some creepy stuff in here, dude. Uh, by the way, guys, next giveaway in probably like five minutes or so. It's gonna be a big hit. Did expose myself to eight damage there, but no worries. Uh, 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 uh. Overheat is low. We need to get some overheat here. Not really enough. I actually have to defend. We're taking a ton of damage. Okay. I'm one off of the parry. Ah! Oh, almost. Oh. This is 30. get a parry lined up here somewhere man i really need one i also need to play things that cost two or more before i win this fight right um and i need to finish on a hindrance card too i'm gonna try to do both of those things before i win this i need expensive cards Do I have any expensive cards? There's one, but now I don't have any mana to play it. Oh, that's tough. Do I just win the fight, guys? No, I don't have a hindrance card in hand, and uh, so we're getting close to the boss fight, so I want to make sure I finish all these right as much as I can. Ugh. He's dealing 15. I have 23. Yeah. That might actually be fixable, by the way, because I can deal damage to myself. Uh, this is a two-mana card, but it's going to kill it. It's going to deal 50 damage. Well, now I'm stuck because everything I do kills it, so... I can end turn, I guess. I don't take any hits, yeah. That's fine. Oh, that's a cool animation. Hindrance card in hand. Okay. Are all of my two-mana or more cards... Uh, they might all be attacks, which I'm not going to be able to play them if so, so. Oh, also my drop pile's empty. Whatever, I'm done. Oh, that counted! Oh, that did it! Oh! Oh, I didn't think that did it, but it did it! Oh, sick, okay. Ice Age, okay. Um, that's actually really cool with, with uh, exhausted stuff. With, with uh bad cards all right 250 gold or three data purchases and get three skill points that's easy i can do that right now i want them skill points baby speaking of which there we go plus one force whenever three attack cards are played that sounds easy Two skill points in now, so I could spend five here and maybe buy this, but I don't really want that that much. What do I want next? Seven HP. Plus one force whenever four defend cards are played. That's actually pretty good. 
Can I also just upgrade any of these? I can upgrade this. What do I do? I get two raider? Actually, that's just something I wanted to do now. That's great. Gain two HP when a hindrance card is played? That actually also sounds really good. So, it said make three... What was it? Make three... Data store purchases, and I get three skill points. So I just buy those items. Does that count? My items are full, though. I can just buy bad cards. I don't really want to buy bad cards, though. <laughs> that sounds kind of bad. Hey, Matlan! Oh my gosh, dude! Five gifted subs during Neoverse. That's awesome, man. Thank you, uh, Matlan, sir. Grats, Drew Lee's, Espresso Wrap, BK Tastic, K Rubs, and Blah Bleep Blah. Uh, dude, I'm glad you like the game, Alan. Thanks much, dude. Uh, much, much, much appreciated. Uh, I don't, I don't think I want to just buy garbage, guys. This actually seems sort of good, though. Honestly, just radioactivity stacking. All attack cards for us are solid. It's just a one one uh, one mana attack card, which is really good. This actually also seems really good. It's kind of just free to cycle. So I guess we are going to do this, huh? I can um, just throw away one of these if I want. And like buy a heal. And then we get our skill points. And then I can buy, uh, what was I going to buy? This? Wait, why don't I have any skill points? I thought I just, oh, I got to redeem that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Mm. Uh, maybe I got to be out of a battle to do this, I guess. I don't know. We'll do it. We'll just win this fight real quick. Okay, so that was a lot of menu manipulation. Sorry about that. Uh, we're taking seven damage. This is eight armor, so there's nothing fancy there. Ooh, we got a lot of attacking coming right now. I can find an attack card, that is. Oh, there it is. Okay. You have to be out of a battle to turn quest in. Okay, that's that's what we kind of figured out. Yeah, thank you for confirmation. I wasn't sure because I feel like one time at, at some other point we had done it, but I don't know what we were doing. Cool. Hey, there's a skill point, baby. Uh, evolve all cards until the end of this battle. I don't know that's actually worth four mana. No, I don't want any of these. We're good. Alright, let's uh let's upgrade our stuff before I forget here. Oh, it's the final boss! Oh my god. Some of these I'm not even gonna have a chance to. Okay, uh Claim. Claim. Duplicate a card. Oh god, I don't even know. I have so many good cards I like. Uh Oh boy. This was pretty good, I have to say. It's just big AoE. Uh, this was pretty cool. I think I might do this one though. I feel like the force stacking is just crazy. So. I don't know. Seems reasonable enough. Okay guys, final boss. Uh, let's grab one of those skills, by the way. And something that's just useful. Seven. We got seven. We hit it. We hit it. Oh my god. Uh, two, two, and five. Can't quite do that. Actually, how much gold do I have? Can I buy any skill points? No. Uh, I can definitely upgrade some stuff, though.
kind of out of things I need, right? I don't know, maybe something in the store went to zero I care about. Mm, nope, I already have that, so that didn't do well. Alright, let's roll! Final boss! Time to go! We got this. It is a... I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's got a chicken, though. Plus to reflect at the beginning of the turn. Okay. Change into peacock mode. It's a quantum peacock. After a certain number of turns. I'm really scared of peacock mode, I have to say. I'm a little nervous, guys. Immune sucks. Uh, let me cheap over here. No. Really a very exciting turn, honestly. I didn't do that much. That turn kind of sucked. I wasted all this radioactivity. Should have been on the higher attack thing. I don't know why I didn't. That was dumb. It steals 20. It's dead. It's cool. Bit of damage, but it shouldn't matter too much. But we can just use the, I mean, it's a final fight, so no, I mean, oh, I don't know why I'm not using this actually. It's all it's a final fight, I should just all use all of this. Uh, what does this do? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, Knight, yeah, each character has different cards. And different. I, I haven't really played other ones yet, but I think pretty dramatically different playstyles too, from what I understand. And red. Mm, let's draw zero mana, obviously. Yeah. So. Eight force right now. It's crazy. Okay. Four overheats. So that's good. And eleven force right now. And I haven't even spent mana yet. I still have six mana. I have 14 force right now. This is completely bonkers how much damage I'm doing. It's just insane. Look at this. Oh, I'm out of cards, man. I almost one shot the dude right there. I mean, I don't even see P. Oh, that's Peacock mode. Okay. Of course. That looks pretty sick. All right. Murdered. Didn't even finish all my skill thingies. Shoot. Each out each class plays differently. Has specific cards like this one has a lot of radioactive and shot cards. Uh, one other one has summon type cards and you get a pet. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, total battle time, 54. Total earned points, 833. First time I read this, I was like, wait, there's only 833 million people in the universe? But that's, um, that's what I save based on my score, see? 833. Unlock new cards, combat training, your next attacks deal double damage on the next turn. Oh, sick, okay. And heat tolerance to core, recover two HP at the end of the turn. Wow, that sounds strong. Dark energy, plus one mana every five turns. That sounds strong too. So let's do a uh, code giveaway, guys. It's time. 
Uh, we'll just do, I can't do, oh, I actually can't do Neoverse, actually, hold up. Uh, we can do hashtag Neoverse as the code. Hashtag Neoverse uh, to win a code for Neoverse that we're playing right now. Strategic roguelike, roguelite deck builder which uh, I'm gonna put a link in chat. You're gonna kind of scroll past it with all the giveaway entries here, but link to their Discord, which seemed pretty cool, and the Steam store page for this game, where you'll find uh, very positive reviews from the community. A lot of reviews too. And yeah, we just finished the run, Kirsten. Yeah, we just finished the run. So now what we can do is a few things, right? We can, um, that run actually took a little bit longer than my last one. So we can either change our starting deck, more of a radioactive deck. Like I've never even seen this card before. Seems really cool. Uh, we can also do modifiers. So all damage of all enemies increased by 20. And this is like, you know, changes how difficult it is basically. So. You get more points and stuff. We can also change characters. Like, I, this vampire sounds kind of crazy. I want to try that. Uh, we can also go to challenge mode, which I did. Um... Here, actually, let's use that deck we just used. We can take it into challenge mode real quick. And uh... so you can go into your archives and see a deck, like we just did this one, right? And we can add this to the challenge mode deck management. And then we can use that deck in challenge mode, which I haven't done yet, so I don't know if our deck is remotely good enough for challenge mode. I don't know how hard challenge mode is, but it sounds really fun. Oh, I gotta do the giveaway, shoot, I forgot. Uh, okay, so the winner of the Neoverse code, and I'm gonna toss in a uh, cyberpunk bundle for this one, is wait where did it go here it is where is the here we go the winner is it's Murray tsh Murray congratulations as og as it gets Murray here is your code. I mean, literally day one viewer. Couldn't be happier that you won. And actually I'll ask, Murray, would you prefer the hot break DLC, which I, or the cyberpunk DLC or neither? Um, who won? Murray won. First time she's won a thing. It's awesome. Hot break or cyberpunk? Which do you prefer? I'm out of schoolgirls. I'm sorry, Tran Man. I only have cyberpunk or hot break left. That's all I have. Cyberpunk it is. Okay, cool. So... First code is for the game. The second code is for the Cyberpunk DLC. Congratulations. Sorry, no school girls left. They only gave me the one school girl and two of the other ones. So clearly the school girl one is uh, the most uh, most desired. Uh, okay, so we can do our, uh, how many trophies do I have? 16 maybe? I don't know. Challenge mode. Okay, so there's... Oh, yeah, I read this. There's 10 battles. The idea is to get through the 10 battles. Let's see if we're nearly... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Every fight's like a boss already. Holy crap. Okay, this might actually be harder than I thought. Uh, we have 100 HP. Okay, I'm really nervous. This sounds... This seems really, really... I don't know if I'm strong enough, guys. This seems way too hard. Uh Okay. 
Whoa, there's a full pot. Oh, I picked the wrong deck. You guys don't know this deck. I played this deck off stream. I was like, wait a minute. You guys don't know this deck, but that's an insane card to get. Uh. Hold on, mana for it. Oh, whoopsie. Aw, oh, man. I was wanting to play our other deck, but I just spent all my trophies, so we're still kind of in this now. This is a cool deck, too. It's pretty similar, really. It's not It's not any crazy different. I think I have worse... Um, I think I have worse skills is the only thing. Oh, but I do have this card you guys haven't seen yet. Steroid. It's a great one. Oh, I just forgot to pay attention to my battle tech, which I think matters a little bit more in this uh, this particular build. Okay, defend. Combo triggered. Oh yeah, 28 damage, baby. Let's go. Okay. Uh. Lady's really tall. I'm intimidated by tall women. She's much taller than us. <laughs> Way taller. Uh, we need to defend a little here at least, huh? Tin's not quite enough, but... It'll have to do. Okay. Oh yeah, we get caught. we get uh, armor for playing. Shoot, I gotta remind myself of this build. Uh, we're getting armor by playing. Oh, a shooting card. Okay, so actually, even our offensive cards in some cases are gonna get us armor here. That's cool. Get fifteen force. That's fifteen extra damage, guys. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, that's cool. Man, this is actually a really cool deck too. Jeez. I had no idea. It's really cool. I only have one card in my draw pile. This is dealing basically all of its damage from... Uh, nice. Okay. Cool. This fight's not going too bad. I thought this would be harder. I thought this would be harder. You need to buy like four DLCs to unlock all the characters? In this game? Not in this game. There's just you just have to win the first run. You guys must be talking about a different game. At least that's not what I saw. Sweet! Oh, oh, you get your trophies back if you win. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. All right, so if we go to 10, it's basically free. Oh, dude, whoa. That's a fatty. So many zero mana cards in this one, man. Does this one not have the deal damage on attack card play? It doesn't seem like it because I'm not dealing much. I dealt two damage to other people. Why is that? Mm, that was from the radioactivity at the start, I think. Okay. Nine times five is 40, 36, 45. <laughs> I'm good at math, I swear, guys, I promise. 
I promise I'm so good at math. Okay. This build is getting so much force, dude. 10 force this time again. Insane extra damage output. Four armor. Bring it, bro. Bring it. Stop hurting me, is all I know, right? <laughs> the card's name is self abuse. Uh, since it's all we got to do, sure. Okay. This is a fun build. I'm just like flying through cards. This is really fun. Oh, you fully heal after every fight in this mode? Oh, man. I wonder how hard the fights are going Those first two really weren't that bad. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I can stream this. This person doesn't have a stomach. They have no stomach. Whereas this... <laughs> Whereas this person has all the things. <laughs> the succubus. Has all the things right there. Ready to go. Um, okay, this this fight already looks really hard. I'm losing my armor at the start of turn, which sucks. HP reverts to its original HP after 12 turns. Man. Okay, I now see why this is uh, what it is. Suddenly looking a lot harder. Stacking extra armor here doesn't really do anything because this uh, is going to debuff my armor at the end of the turn anyway. Which is sad. I love that extra armor. Taking tw 8 and 20, so 28. Woo, that's a lot. Oh, whoops, that was a backwards order. Whoopsie. This is going to be a big hit still. Mass Effect 3 is what, what jaded. <laughs> Even though I didn't see that conversation, I was like, oh yeah, I know that one. Finally knows something. 22 damage. Woo. Guys, I don't know. I'm not feeling great about this. I really do not have enough. Because uh, this is removing my buff, so I can't stack force like I normally do to push out a ton of damage, you know? Uh... Okay, do so I take damage or activate? I need the combo, I think. I'm gonna hold it for next turn. Oh, how do I deal with this, dude? This is so scary. Third armoring 
up. Okay. So this fight's actually going to go fairly long. I think I should... Uh... Definitely focus on constant effects. Uh, but it doesn't matter because they just re they just debuff it every time. So now it's just a damage race. I need to kill them in eight turns, basically. Ooh, I don't know. And their armor is just going up every time. I might be able to get there. I'm just taking a huge hit though. Man. There's no way. There's no way. I can't. I can't get there. I'm barely... I'm barely gaining at all. And I'm just getting murdered every turn. Wow, this is hard. And now I'm defending on a turn when I don't need to. It's just pointless. I barely gained anything that turn. They fully heal in five turns. Oh no, and now my whole deck is just garbage. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. It was a fun try, I guess, but... I'm so dead. Okay, that was actually one of my better turns. I actually chunked quite a bit of health, but I'm not going to win in four turns, and then I'm going to die, obviously. Um, I just, I'm not dealing any damage right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Just like any other stream. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute here. I don't like the sound of that. Ugh, it's like I'm close. If they were armoring up more and attacking less, I think I'd be close, but... 32 and I'm at 19, so... Pretty much over here. That's 28. That's almost enough. Yeah. Please heal me actually in this list, right? So it's good. Yeah. I'm not dealing 89 in two turns though, so it's game over for sure. Ugh. Just go and see what happens, right? I don't even know what it looks like when you lose. I've literally never lost a fight yet, so... Let's try again. Uh... No, I actually want to do my other deck. I want to do my other deck. Some aloe for that sick burn. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, let me... Uh, I thought I added that other deck to my... Uh, where is it? Yeah, this one. Did I add it to my... Oh, yeah. It's just deck number two. Okay. Let's try that again. I hope I have enough trophies. I, I don't know if I do or not. That was pretty fun, actually. Yeah, I don't, this is hard to click through. 
Oh no, I don't have enough trophies! No! <laughs> Alright, we can try this other character, I guess, uh, in normal mode. I haven't played this other character before, so. Uh, a deck that uses vampiric type cards is its main focus. Vampiric mode allows you to deal more damage and recover HP. Sure. Alright. Let's look at our deck real quick. Deal six plus your current amount of vampiric as damage. Okay. Plus one punishment. Return damage equal to your punishment when attacked. Oh, that sounds cool. Like a defensive build. That's actually really neat. Um, recovery HP equal to damage dealt to enemies HP whenever you play an attack card. Oh, okay, sweet. So healing and dealing tons of damage, it sounds like. That sounds really nice. What's the background story? It's basically just like you're uh, traveling the multiverse and time. I don't know. Saving people. It's very, like I said, it's very, very, very light. Why do I have six mana already? Oh, is that just her, her deal? She just always has six mana? That's cool. Stack that punishment, baby. I didn't notice. Did, did, did you take... Wait, punishment doesn't last? Uh-oh. Oh, it just goes off the once when they hit you. Got it. Got it. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, parrying! I finally got a parry! <laughs> First time for everything. Give me that gold. Yeah. Thorned tree, deal one damage four times. Okay, so that scales the vampiric, that's cool. Wind of life, recover two HP and plus two punishment. Okay, that sounds good. I like the idea of a punishment build, that sounds fun. Remove a card or plus three skill points. I really like skill points, so we're gonna do that. That guy's dealing three to me, so this should be cool. I don't really need the HP recovery is the only thing. That kind of sucks. I guess we won't do that. Okay. Can I kill this guy? Uh-oh. 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 Oh yeah, that'll kill him when he attacks me, right? I think. Oh yeah, precision return kill, nice. Okay. Oh, I forgot the vampire. I'm an idiot. I'll take three damage here too. <laughs> Fart? No, man, not quite. Not quite. I like how the animation differed on the powerful strike. He got knocked down. That's cool. All right, all right. Dead, 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 dead. dead. Okay. Vampiric strike deal piercing damage equal to your vampiric to all enemies. That actually sounds really cool. Uh, ooh, gain plus two punishment at the end of every turn. I'm just, is that really gonna scale that well? I don't know. I'm worried this isn't gonna scale, but I kind of talked about being a punishment guy, so maybe we'll try to be a punishment guy. Let's see how that goes. Claim that baby, claim that baby. Uh, wind of life? Sure. Why not? Probably better off evolving later game cards, to be honest, but. We're getting light on time here for our stream, so I wanna, I wanna go. So let's take a look at these legendaries. If plus one mana, if Vantiric Strike is active at the beginning of the turn, uh, reduces the cost of one random card in your hand to zero for one use whenever you have zero mana. Oh, that's cool. Plus three punishment if you have no armor. 
If your HP is damaged by an enemy's attack while in the dying state, which I think is like, tw yeah, 20% HP, okay. Plus HP whenever a card with consume or unstable tag is played. Hmm, okay. This one definitely, uh, and this one definitely seemed the most enticing, right? Bloody Explosion, deal two damage to all enemies of Impact State is active at the beginning of the turn. Sure, that sounds cool. Uh, I don't really want this, but I do want to get to this, so. We can do that, all right. Keep your starting HP and win the battle. Okay. Definitely want to evolve cards, so. All right, uh, no attacks this time. Good to know. Let's finish this guy off. Oh, where were you earlier? You guys kind of look like Halo characters, don't they? Oh, I'm taking way too much damage. Oh my god, why didn't I defend more? Oh my god. I wanted to kill this guy, I thought I could, and I couldn't. Man, her voice lines, I gotta say, they are, uh, they are different. They are distinct. <laughs> her voice! <laughs> taking too many hits. I can heal, though, so, I mean, I think it's actually probably okay if I take more, um take more damage with this character, right? Like, I'm healing a lot of it, so... They just healed three, right? So, man, why is this always here? Uh, as soon as I run out of stuff. Run out of mana. Again. Oh my god, I cannot seem to get a powerful strike out. I want to finish this fight at 50. I don't know if I have to be... Like, I don't know if I have to retain 50 the whole time, or if I have to... Finish at 50 for this one, right? I don't know how it works. This character definitely has less, like, DPS, I feel like, than the previous one. Oh my god. A powerful strike actually active. I love it. Guys, we got one more code to give away, by the way. We're gonna do it as soon as this fight's over. Uh, and then we're gonna get the first boss, probably, and I think we'll call it quits after that. So, does this do it? I'm one off. Oh man, one HP off. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's a different item. Snipe, deal 15 damage to a target. I've never seen that one before, that's cool. Shield breaker, deal five amplified damage. Plus one force whenever you play a card that activates vampiric. Okay, that's cool. That scales vampiric nicely. When's the giveaway? It'll be in... Uh... I don't know when, actually. Good question. Evolve a card is definitely better, I think. But I'm worried I'm not going to win an elite battle. I don't feel like I... I'm that strong yet. Lots of card openers seem pretty solid, though. Okay. After this fight, we'll do the giveaway, and then after the first boss, that's probably gonna be the 
end of our stream there, boys and gals. Six there. I swear to God, you always draw it whenever you have one mana left. Every time. Every single time. Yeah, I like this. Just armor up. Just sit back. Let them kill themselves on you. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, this might have been a waste, actually. It's fine. Okay. This guy's annoying to kill, man. I don't have that much damage for this guy. What is that? What do I have? Vampiric State gain, deal two damage on these if Vampiric State is active. Okay, so yes, he's gonna take two. That's right. That's right. Oh, I haven't been doing my combos either. Shoot. I don't even know what hers does. It may be different for all I know. Does it say? Does anybody know what her combo does? It looked like it did some kind of whirlwindy style effect, but I'm not sure. It's hard, by the way. Every time. That's fair. I would like to heal to full here and secure the kill if I can, but. Oh, one mana off. Oh, I'm taking damage though because it's reflect, I guess. Shoot. Can I heal to full and try to activate this? Probably not worth the trouble. Uh, not enough. That's okay. Divine generosity plus four vampiric and plus four faith. What does faith do? Receive a random God's answer card whenever your faith reaches five. Recover five HP. I don't know if I can get to five. Punishment equal to your current armor. HP recovery from previous doubled this turn. I'd rather do this, I think. That sounds cool. Okay, uh, giveaway time, and then we're gonna do the boss. Um so one final giveaway here, folks. Let's see. Uh this is for the final code for Neoverse. Give me one second. And we'll just do hashtag Neoverse again. That'll be fine. It's pretty good. Worked out. So type hashtag Neoverse in chat. You'll also get a hot break DLC, which I don't know exactly what that entails, but I'll let you figure that out whenever you get it. And uh, then we'll do this boss fight, and then we will uh, we'll call it quits on the Neoverse stream there. Although I will also have a YouTube video up for this game sometime in the near future i'm not sure exactly when yet but stay tuned to youtube for uh another look if you're curious and of course you can find links to neoverse uh both the discord channel for the game and on steam right there in chat mubot just wrote them out for me here we'll take a look at it on stream on steam real quick while uh why are you guys doing your thing? I haven't seen that costume before. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys the gear. Oh yeah, you can buy gear. There's like little pets and stuff that modifies your run. I forgot to show you that. Shoot, that's a cool element. I haven't even played with it myself yet. Uh, very positive reviews. Start your journey across time to save the overs. Yeah. Cool. 
So let's do the winner here in the final code is gonna be Blue Sapphire. Blue Sapphire is the winner. Like you were asking about the giveaway earlier, Blue Sapphire, congratulations. Pretty good chances to win, really, guys. There's only like 50 entries, so. Blue Sapphire, let me send you the code. Here's the code for the game, Blue Sapphire. And here is your code for the uh, DLC component as well. And you can enter those on Steam. Those are Steam codes. So uh, if you don't know how to do that, you can just Google search it real quick, like how to how to use a code on Steam. It's definitely not hard. Uh, oh, Kirsten. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good to know. All right. Um, yeah, this is a ridiculous reward, so we'll do this. I don't know if I have two. I don't think I have two instant cards yet, but we can get it later. Oh, actually, can I redeem these? Did I get these done? Let's upgrade before we fight the boss first. Oh yeah, I did finish them. I didn't think I did. Okay. Upgrading a card? Is that what I'm doing? Recycle on that. This just seems... Eh, it's just damage. doesn't seem to do that much. Uh, this being cheaper is cool. What's a promise? Put in your hand at the beginning of battle. Oh, okay. That's cool. Not really super pumped about any of these upgrades, to be honest. I don't know. That was the newest card we got, so. Oh, HP Steel. Oh, I like this, though. Just AoE. recycle too which is cool though i like that that'd be cool in a run later okay and then uh skill points i have six so we can do this and this wow that was a big big change right there okay sweet all right Constant card first. Yeah. Uh, I don't have vampiric right now. Oh, I do. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Cool. Okay, what does this do? Punishment Eagle in my current armor. Uh, it's not that good right now, no. I still don't know what my combo did. I don't know what my combo does. HP steel. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Yeah, I definitely feel like I don't have enough damage in this character right now, but we'll see how that scales later, I'm sure. <laughs> It feels weird to get armor cards a little bit when she's so HP based. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that armor card since I'm so much like an HP build, you know? It's all about like losing and regaining HP, so why focus on armor, you know? Not that it doesn't hurt. Like, you know, it's fine. It doesn't hurt you, but it's just maybe a little unnecessary. It'd be fun to try to do a, puni a full punishment build up. 
We kind of started, but we pivoted quick. Eight punishment. So plus one force whenever four defense cards are played. Barely hanging in there on HP despite all this life gain. It's tough. It's really tough. Almost dead, though. Almost dead. I'm like dead, dude. The reflect on this is killing me. Literally, quite literally. Quite literally killing me. Oh, I think I could have killed him there. I don't know what I'm doing. Punishment will, but. Woo! Okay, that was tougher than I expected. Man! A lot of skill points, though. Jeez. Burn to death. Soulmate. I don't really want any of these, man. It's kind of cool, like a timeout style effect. Just infinite immu or just immunity for an entire turn. All right, guys. I think we will call it there on the stream. Uh, looks like this build's going to be cool. I did want to take a look at the pets. I don't want to end this run, though, because I'm going to finish this off stream. So, uh... Yeah, I don't want to back out. I don't think I can start a second run without ending this one, as far as I know. Uh, I think it will overwrite. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. So, that's okay. Uh, actually, we might be able to look here. No, these are just cards. That's okay. Anyway, guys. How did I like my night waifu? I definitely preferred the Mrs. Kilbin waifu better than the night waifu so far. The night waifu seemed to play a little slower and not as like quick and bouncy, which I definitely like the faster style better. Uh, Roth, by the way. Oh my God. Thanks for the six months, Roth. And uh, the happy new year wishes right back at you. Sorry I don't have alerts on since we're doing a little sponsored game here, but uh, appreciate that certainly very, very much. So thank you, uh, Mr. Roth. And uh, yeah, guys, $20 on Steam. Let me send you another link right there. Pros, cons of this game. Uh, pros, I think it's got a ton of depth and replayability. Maybe the most of any uh, roguelite deck builder that I've seen. Like it's got layers and layers and layers of ways to impact your run I, many of which i haven't even done yet between skills items uh card upgrades just uh there's a lot of manipulation on your deck and build i felt like i got super strong um i think it plays really smoothly i think uh i just like deck builder roguelites so Playing card games like this is always fun. Downsides for me, the aesthetic is not my favorite. Like, I, I don't like the waifu anime aesthetic as some people might as much. You know, it's fine. I, I Like I said at the beginning of the stream, I am happy to... You know, I'm looking at the cards mostly, right? Like, the characters on screen could be almost anything. I'm enjoying the card experiences more than anything. So, the aesthetic is not my dream aesthetic, but it doesn't get in the way or anything. It doesn't, doesn't hamper my experience at all. So that would be a con, I guess. But you're, there's a ton of great reviews on uh, Steam. It has very positive reviews on Steam. So you can go read reviews on Steam and check it out. Speaking of which, there's a link right there in chat. 
You're a closet weeb? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think so, though. I don't want to be. Um. Yeah, Warbird, I would just encourage you to, to read reviews and are uh, the different waifus distinct enough in terms of playstyle? It seemed like it. Uh, waifu number two felt very different, way more defensive and slower. I, I haven't played waifu number three, so I don't know. But waifu number one was all about damage output and uh, just going ham. Waifu number two seemed way more about like health manipulation and and defense and kind of tanking and like survivability. I didn't. I haven't seen a late game build for 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 the knight character, so I'm not sure what she looks like late game to tell you. She may pick things up too, but I don't know. I like the playstyle of number one a lot, though. It's really fun just flying through cards. So, um, but yeah, if, sure, of course. Check out reviews on Steam. Links are right there in chat, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And yeah, I don't, I don't know their names, Kirsten. I think it's Claire and. Naya? Naya Claire, yeah, okay. I actually did know their name. It's cool. Um Helena too. I like the look of Helena the least. Naya is definitely my favorite from an appearance standpoint. So, uh we'll call it there, guys. That was a lot of fun. I uh will also be putting a video out for this game too, so check it out. Check the links in chat if you want to see it, etc. It's on PC, Xbox One, Xbox Game Pass. It's $20. It's called Neoverse. I think that's everything you need to know. So, cool. All that said, um, I don't know if anybody else will be streaming this. I kind of doubt it, but maybe. Let's take a look. Uh, if so, we'll raid them. Uh, nope, just me. Well, we won't do a raid then. We'll just, uh, we'll hang tight. So, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll be back in action. More Hearthstone, more fun stuff, more whatever else we can figure out we want to do that sounds fun. And if you want more Neoverse, stay tuned to YouTube. Big shout out, uh, to the folks at Neoverse for sponsoring this stream. That was fun. So thank you guys. And, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Appreciate it. Thanks to the giveaways. Oh, yeah, that was all courtesy of the Neoverse folks. So thanks to them. And enjoy your codes if you got one. I think you'll you'll find yourself rather addicted. Like, I'm ready to go finish this run after stream. But I got to go eat dinner first with the wife. So that's why we got to go. So uh, love you guys a ton. Thanks for hanging out today. Appreciate you watching. Good luck out there. Check out Neoverse. And uh, until next time, game on.